Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna take a look at the rising FIFA 23 market and try to answer the question, should you sell or should you hold? And I wanna look at this throughout the next couple of days and where the market could be heading. And of course, take a look at today's content on Sunday with a massive Player of the Month SBC expected for Fede Valverde center mid position change. We saw the leak on Friday. We're expecting the SBC today. So I want to talk about all of that, the content yesterday and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. If you're new, you know what to do. Let's get into the market because yesterday we had the Thiago Silva. We had a little bit of content, a few packs in the store, but it wasn't that crazy. And since it wasn't that crazy, a lot of player prices continued to go higher on the market. Take a look at Cristiano Ronaldo, 460 thousand coins on the market for Ronaldo right now he's up like 60k on the day from yesterday another big riser I know so many of you guys are looking at this card because he's super cracked in game and everybody wants to get him and he's out of pack so his price is rising and he's super rare 88 gold Holland and the fact that his ones to watch is still 1.3 million coins we're going to talk about ones to watches in a little bit too makes this card continue to go up in price because that price gap is so big people that want to use holland are going and running to use this card and it's out of packs not getting supplied so a lot of prices have gone up especially on the top tier most meta players and the most sought after overpowered players those are the prices that are going up on this market right now now if you have any of these guys in your team or if you made investments like nate what's going to happen with these guys in the coming days over the market um, you know, we were past the, the huge supply that we were expecting on Friday, right? We saw the prices dip. We saw that kind of short-term market crash, and then everything went rebounding back as people bought their teams back. And now prices on the top tier just continue to keep rising. And it makes sense. People are upgrading their teams. They're getting more rewards, and they are choosing to spend those rewards on bigger and better teams because what we have upcoming this weekend, uh, basically a week from now, five days from now, is the first weekend league and that is a very important date for the market because that should be one of the pinnacles of demand on the FIFA Ultimate Team market in the early game is that first weekend league is when you see so many prices go up because people are all buying their teams trying to get the best team possible that they can get grinding the game before then to get a sick team to get the weekend league rewards which are some of the best rewards in the game right so everybody is grinding 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 and you kind of have a peak like getting toward the weekend league time frame and for a lot of cards this week i really don't see a card like this Ferland mendy or a card like the benzema that we were just looking at or the young um or maybe even hyunmin son or cancelo you know going over a hundred thousand coins kulabali over 100k even militao still 119k and bape is still continuing to rise 1.6 million coins he's up in the higher tier of his range right now for a lot of these cards that are the most meta very high tier i think they're going to keep rising until we get towards thursday or friday somewhere around there i think you might meet the high point for a lot of these gold cards on the market and i think that will be a good time if you're purely in this from an investing perspective or if you're purely in this for like okay nate i have some of these really high hyped up cards when do i sell to not lose many coins i would look towards the end of this week to be a great time to get out of some of these cards. Of course, we know we don't actually know confirmed 100% what the next promo is going to be. We really think it's either Road to the Knockout or Road to the Final, and there are going to be some leaks coming out later this week about that. Those leaks could impact the market because there will definitely be a lot of packs opened and a lot of lightning rounds or promo packs at least um, supplied this weekend before the weekend league would actually start but i think until we get there you're going to keep seeing the market rise up little by little every single day i think a lot of your graphs on these top tier guys are just going to continue to look like this right benzema's graph paints the picture beautifully of how i think the rest of this week is going to go for a top tier meta card just rising up a little bit every day you can see that maybe a slight dip at 6 p.m content because some people every day sell their teams because they're worried about what content's going to come out of course yesterday and i would Imagine today on Sunday as well, EA will refresh the promo packs in the store. They might refresh the promo packs in the store every single day, right? They did the 15, 25, and 35K packs once again. They're going to do those today again on Sunday. So again, like I'm saying, I think for a lot of the stuff you're holding, the stuff that I would think about selling, and we've talked about selling these cards uh, before, but you're, you're lower tier guys, right? Again, 
just continue to think about the progression of people's FIFA Ultimate Teams right now. Players like Zaha, yes, he still maintains a 15,000 coin price tag, but he was higher than this earlier on. And a card that is this 82 rated that is, you know, people may upgrade to somebody like Rashford Player of the Month to play center forward or, or left wing in their team. Or maybe they upgraded somebody like Hyun Min Son, a, a bit of a higher tier player in the Premier League. Um, you know, th these are going to be the types of cards that start to drop off and they're affected by supply a lot more too, right? Like Zaha yesterday was 14k, went up to 17 and then 6pm content happened. He went back down to 15 where he is right now, you might see more fluctuations on these lower tier cards with the pack supply every single day. But I think what you'll end up seeing is these prices overall start to, to tail off. I mean, like we've already shown with Timo Werner and, you know, Emre Chan, Konate, some of those lower tier guys, right? Their prices really peaked last week and now they're just starting to, you know, go down. The lower tier cards, I would continue to expect to see that sort of price movement on the market is just sliding downwards in price every single day that people upgrade their teams and get better cards in their teams and then of course the supply continues to come out as well so that's kind of what i'm feeling with the market right now here's what i'll say also about some of these guys that are out of packs for ones to watch like let's specifically talk about erling holland and anthony right some of you guys have made investments in like holland's gold card and it's flying right or maybe it's anthony or rudiger or lewandowski these sorts of cards are going to be back in packs on uh, Friday, right? When their uh, wants to watch cards go out of packs, you would wanna sell these cards a little bit earlier than that because a lot of people, specifically for this Anthony card, as he is now like 64,000 coins for an 82 rated gold card, by the way, that's pretty nuts. Um, that gets packed a lot from what I've seen. A guy like this, I would be looking to offload a guy like Anthony on probably like Tuesday, Wednesday timeframe because there is so much investing that has happened on a card like this and people are going to want to start to sell their investment before everybody else does and before he goes back into packs and, of course, drops in price. So try to be a little bit early on a card like this. It's better to be early than late, especially knowing so many people have invested in a card like Anthony or Gabriel Jesus or Darwin Nunez. Those three, since they're a lower rated, just be more careful with those. You wouldn't have to be as careful with a Holland uh, or maybe a Rudiger, but I would still try to sell those guys before we get to Friday for sure. Those guys will peak a little earlier since their gold cards are coming back into packs. So that's kind of how I'm feeling for the market. Again, you know, we are going to have daily fluctuations. Like I said, uh, we might have the promo packs every day. We could have a daily SBC pack. You know, EA does this sometimes where they drop a random daily SBC. They, they dropped one yesterday, but it was an untradeable pack. Yeah, this newcomers challenge. You know, they might drop a pack like this that gives out a 25k pack, tradable or something like that. And then you see the market just like, you know, take a nosedive on one day for a couple hours and start to rebound back up a little bit. You know, you're going to see some fluctuations like that over the next few days. But unless something absolutely crazy happens, which I don't believe would in the early stages this early in the game, I really do think you'll see a nice bit of a market rise into this next weekend. Same thing for like heroes, for um, the out of packs informs from team of the week one if you have any of those cards i i would say all all of those categories would fall into like the the high tier meta sort of card these guys are just going to continue to go up right as people get more coins and upgrade in their teams so that's kind of how i'm feeling for the market right now let's talk about today on sunday though and get a little bit more specific with it because today we're getting a massive midfielder and as an sbc and this could be huge, right? And not only are we getting a massive midfielder as an SBC, we're getting massive midfielder in packs today as a ones to watch with the mini release. Of course, this is leaked information, but basically everything has gone according to the leaks so far. So we're expecting this to be true. Delict, Renato Sanchez, and Bergwijn should be in packs today. I still don't know why Bergwijn was on the loading screen on Friday. That made no sense to me, but it is what it is. So Bergwijn, Renato Sanchez, Delict in packs today. Of course, for the Renato Sanchez card going out, out of packs that might mean that you see a little bit of an extra rise um, into the next few days just because he is again going out of packs again there's a lot of people have it that have invested here when his price went down on friday at like 50k now he is starting to hold up again very meta card but i would say watch out for this guy's price today too if this sbc is very well priced and for right now, a lot of the player of the months haven't been that well priced, but a Valverde, Valverde's gold card is very in demand on the market. He swings in price so much, right? His inform is in so much demand and it's actually up in price right now. Of course, people are going to be disappointed off the bat today because the Valverde 
player of the month that was um, posted by the actual La Liga Twitter account. So what I'm looking at right here, this tweet was from Friday. It shows on this tweet that is SBC is supposed to be released today and that the stats are the exact same as the 86 inform, just with the center mid position change. So it all comes down to price today for a Valverde SBC. Now, I do think that since you've seen uh, Valverde's inform go up in price a little bit, uh, I, I do believe that you would see it probably drop today. Uh, I think it's gone up because people have finished their panic selling, right? The panic selling kind of ended. And then now you have a natural rise on a card that people are getting more coins. And if they don't know about the league, maybe some casuals just put, filling out their Real Madrid teams, they're getting a upgraded version of Valverde for their squad. So that's why I think his price is going up. I think you will for sure see some panic selling on this card today. Now, will this card rebound back from the panic selling? Like I said, it all depends on the price of the Valverde player of the month. Definitely a center mid for mo more people, I think, would be a higher value of a card for squad building and just the way that people would think, right? Valverde at center mid instead of right wing. People will gravitate towards a center mid SBC even if it has the same stats. Um, and I think they might make it about 130K, probably coming in around the same price as the um, Thiago Silva SBC. I think that's where EA would price it. Um, and maybe he's got some cool, like maybe he still has the right wing or the right mid position change um, on his player of the month card today as well. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure about with that is what time it'll be released. I think, and I would imagine it'd be at 6 p.m. content, but player of the months do sometimes drop earlier in the day. So just stay tuned to EA's Twitter or their Instagram story because usually um, you'll you'll see people post about that being out or just follow me on Twitter. I'll repost it if it gets posted early, of course, um, not too long after that happens. So definitely watch out for that today. Yesterday, as we talk about yes, uh, SBC movements, Tiago Silva is a cool looking card. He didn't get the 80 pace. It's like one of those baby flashbacks, right? That's kind of the best way to describe it. That's how a lot of people have been describing it. We think back to like Conte of last year where Conte had like more pace in his card but less stats elsewhere. You know, this is definitely a pretty good card and no, it's not terrible. You throw an anchor on this or you maybe throw a shadow on it and it's definitely usable. But that's the best word to describe this. It's usable. It's not great. For 130,000 coins at this stage of the game, for a card that, you know, you can already go on the market and buy a Kula Bali with better stats for, you know, 30,000 coins less and not sink your coins into an untradeable SBC, this value here is not great, but it, it is very nostalgic. It is a nice SBC, and it's not terrible to get done, right? It is at 84 84, 85, 86. Again, I really think Valverde might have like the exact same squad requirements today. So watch for Valverde to be in that 100, 150K range unless EA want to do something crazy with it. So that was kind of yesterday's content along with the packs in the store and that newcomer SBC. Now, like I mentioned, today we're going to have new cards and packs. That should bring more packs in the store. I don't know if EA will do anything else today though other than that, we had our new objective card yesterday with Serginho Dest, who definitely needs the USA to win a, at least one game in the World Cup and Milan to win some games. They won their first game yesterday uh, with like a 90th minute winner or something like that. I believe it, it ended up being a win for them. Uh, and that was huge because that's the first win of uh, the like the streak on the desk and all the ones to watch is right. The, their streaks, all of them started on September 30th and PSG winning yesterday as well. I do believe that counts for Renato Sanchez's streak, even though his ones to watch card is not out in the game. I believe it says on the website that the streak start on September 30th. So since PSG played yesterday and they won two to one, I do believe that will mean his card will be starting the upgrade path a little bit early. So watch out for that Renato Sanchez today coming into packs. I'm going to fearlessly forecast this price today at like three. You know what? With Holland being as expensive as he is, I, w I originally said like 300,000 coins for Renato Sanchez, even though this card's 60K. I mean, uh, that dynamic image on that card is insane. I'm going to up that to probably like... You know, first day, many of these cards are always rare as well. I'm going to say 500K today for Renato. It's going to be so dumb because it's going to be an 80 rated ones to watch card with a dynamic image. It'll look cooler than his gold, but have the same stats. I'm going to say 450 to 500K. We'll see what it comes out as, but that's going to be what everybody's excited about today on this game. Now, let's talk more about ones to watch is because we are one day down and there's been a lot of movements already. I mean, maybe some of you guys saw Gabriel Jesus after he scored in the North London Derby yesterday to put Arsenal up 2-1. to one. Yes, I'm in pain as a Spurs fan, but 
GG's deserved win for them for sure. They were the better team. So his price went from like what 290 or something to 350 spiked. And then he went down in price as people are like, okay, right now he's not playing good enough to get the inform. And now he's kind of gotten rare again. I actually bought one of these at 240 um, because I think that he can get rare again and bounce a little bit back up. Uh, maybe like 260 or 270. So I'm still, he's gotten very close to 270 and I haven't sold him yet. We'll see if he ends up getting there. Lewandowski is another one, right? Let's take a look at this graph. Lewandowski was like 300 and something thousand coins pregame. Um, and yeah, see this, he, he rose up into the nighttime, into the day for the game. He was like 320 and then he scored, went to 390, dropped off a cliff to 300K. He's now back up to about 320. And, and I was thinking about picking one of these up at 320 or at 300K, but I did not have the funds at the time to do so as I was trying to work in and around some other cards. But this is one thing that I'll show you guys right off the bat and something you can learn from like day one of once to watch trading is these cards fluctuate a lot they fluctuate a ton and especially after a game even if a player scores a goal and has potential to be in team of the week i don't think Lewandowski will get a team of the week for a one goal performance ea know that he's going to have a lot more goals coming his way so unless they're really trying to push ones to watch in a team of the week right away which they usually don't do then i don't think he's going to end up getting an inform we'll just have to see um, but after a game, prices always drop off. Like with this Lewandowski, they always they drop off for two reasons, right? Number one, a lot of people have invested and a lot of people are holding the card during the game to, to wait and see if the guy scores. So everybody who was trying to score at th or sell at 390K, you know, when his price peaked, if they listed at the wrong price, they listed too high, like his price just keeps going down, down, down because after that, people are like, okay, I got to get this card out. I need the coins. And they see his price falling and they just sell, sell, sell. And he just keeps going lower. So definitely after a game is a really good time to look at picking up some ones to watch cards. Even if the player didn't do well, take a look at Darwin Nunez, right? And here's the other thing I would say, if you're going into today on Sunday and you are having any of the Real Madrid or any of the guys that play today on Sunday, any of these cards in your team, just like with Nunez yesterday and with even Gabriel Jesus, you know, selling in the hype pre-game is the safest way to go every single time. And then if the player does score, you can quickly go back on the market, buy that card, watch it rise up a bit, and then maybe do a quick flip there. Darwin Nunez was basically 100K before Liverpool kicked off yesterday. Of course, he got subbed on in the 89th, didn't score a goal, didn't do anything. He goes all the way down to 69,000 coins, kind of where he basically still is. So huge drop off there. Uh, Dybala scored a goal yesterday as well, and his price went up and then came back down. And as I'm looking at player prices right now, Erling Holland, 1.3 mil. I know there's a huge game today, Manchester Derby. I would be selling this card 100%, sell it in the hype because that is a ridiculous price. I know it's Holland, but that's a crazy price. Anthony for 260 as well. I'd be selling this guy, right? Anthony, Holland, Chalmany, and Rudiger. If you take a look at all their prices right now, they are up. And this is one of the best fluctuations and one of the best trends that I can tell you to do to consistently make those coins is sell into the hype. Rudiger is actually super rare and good to trade with, kind of like what Lewandowski is. So I would keep an eye on his card um, for maybe even some potential movements after uh, the match as well. And if we can snag one of these levels at 300, we'll maybe do it because he is like one of the only team of the week candidates from that game. Same thing with Dybala, even though Dybala was hurt. But, you know, that's the biggest advice I can give you is sell into the hype because if you don't, then you're just like, especially for Rudiger being a center back, you need him to score. I mean, he does score goals sometimes, right? I think he sometimes takes free kicks and of course, obviously a threat in the box for headers. Definitely selling the hype to win a card like this because it's a center back. For a striker, maybe you can risk it a little bit more. But for a center back, you want to sell into that hype. And then if you want to pick up post game when the prices drop down, like we saw for Lewandowski, like we saw for Gabriel Jesus, since both of those cards have rebounded back up a little bit, that is something that you can do. Now, also, some of these guys have midweek games upcoming. And even though they technically don't count, like you don't get informs based off of Champions League or Europa League performances, um, some people might imagine that these cards could still get upgraded or that EA could be crazy enough to drop like a man of the match this early in the game. I don't expect them to do anything along those lines. But take a look at any of your ones to watch cards that do play Champions League this week. Um, you know, you know, just thinking about guys like Lewandowski, guys like Holland, they're going to have Champions League games coming up this week or Europa League even. And if they do perform well, even though their card probably won't get upgraded because EA doesn't do man of the matches this early in the game, 
the price still might rise a little bit. So that's just something a little five head play to watch out for on the market because some people will be just so excited about the live upgrading aspect of these cards, they'll think that they can go and upgrade. So ones to watch cards, and I'll say this too, some of these higher tier guys, they just seem super duper rare. As I look at their, their price fluctuations, Anthony yesterday was like 220, 230, I think last night, 234, went up to 250, went down to 230 again, and is now back up to 264. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy is like 275 pregame, maybe even a little bit higher than that. But that to me would be, especially since I know people have invested in this Anthony card, that to me would be a price where I would just say, I'm out, take the coins, take the safe route, and, uh, and be happy with it, right? That's kind of where I would go with those ones to watch cards. So biggest tip, selling the hype with ones to watch cards. And if you really want to gamble, then just make sure you have a lot of coins. And if you're able to lose coins, uh, that you're okay with it because that's, that's, what it, that's the opportunity with the gamble. Opportunity to gain coins, but also opportunity to lose coins. So hopefully today, the Valverde SBC is an absolute banger and we'll see if EA Sports have any other nice content for us. I would also watch on your like team of the week cards. You know, we don't have that weekend league reward supply. I think a lot of your team of the week cards might have hit their lowest point on Friday with all of the pack supply that we had. Unless we have something crazy happen, if you find a low fluctuation on a guy like Modric, Salah, Marquinhos, those are cards that absolutely will rise up throughout the rest of the week as well. And as people want to add them into their teams as we get towards weekend league. So that's the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.